Recently, it's been announced that a statue is going to be erected in Boston in honor of the Celtics great and civil rights activist Bill Russell. And personally, I think that is an honor that uh, is long overdue, that Mr. Russell, given what he's done both on and off the court, deserves this distinction. However, at least one Boston newspaper columnist is a little bit upset, or not upset, but she's concerned that putting the statue in City Hall Plaza might revive some not-so-good memories of Boston of the past. And I'm specifically talking about the incident back in 1976, the bicentennial year, when African-American lawyer Ted Landsmark was assaulted by a group of anti-busing youths in City Hall Plaza and almost speared by one of the youths wielding an American flag. And that incident was appropriately called the Soiling of Old Glory, as a photographer took the picture and it was splashed across the front pages of newspapers around the country. Fortunately, Mr. Landsmark escaped serious long-term injury from this event, but the reputation of Boston never recovered. And that brings us back to Bill Russell's statue in City Hall Plaza. Instead of lamenting the fact that it's going to be erected at near the very spot where Mr. Landsmark was attacked, I think it should be embraced. Why? Because it shows how far Boston has come over the last few decades in terms of racial progress. What happened to Ted Landsmark cannot be forgotten, but neither can the contributions that Bill Russell and his teammates from the 1960s made to Boston to make it a more inclusive and diverse community. And to me, that is the ultimate sign of progress and something to be celebrated, frankly.